welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I am back yet again for yet another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse video. Today, we're going to be checking out three new Platinum Edition figures, of which these figures are not variances. Typically, Platinum Editions are variances, chase figures of prior existing figures, but this particular, we'll say, wave, quote-unquote, are their own thing entirely, in which they will be randomly inserted into some forthcoming case packouts that will ultimately go to any store. Now, mine came from GameStop, so start there if you're looking, but soon enough, yes, these should pop up really anywhere because they are indeed chase figures. Now, first and foremost, we have the Sportsmaster, and I would say that Sure, this one is a good choice for a Platinum Chase figure. I can't see too many people wanting him, but he is a villain that people know, and once we kind of deep dive into it, he's kind of the Sportsmaster, and he's kind of Mad Dog, so it's kind of a discrepancy here and there. But here's the barcode, and like I said, head to your GameStop, ask the GameStop clerk to check if they don't have these. What happened was they scanned it for me. They go, here's a list of stores that apparently have these in stock. Went to the first one on the list and lo and behold, yes, these were sitting right on the shelf along with some blue as bats. So if you are ultimately looking for any of those figures, GameStop would be the place to be at least for now. And up next we have the Reverse Flash. Not to be confused with Professor Zoom. This is a completely different character under the moniker of Reverse Flash. So with New 52, they've officially split. So you have Professor Zoom, Eobard, Thrawn, and now you have this Reverse Flash, and I'll get into him in just a few. But you can see the artwork on the back, and here's the barcode. Like I said, go into your GameStop, have them scan this, and perhaps you can find one for yourself. And then lastly, we have the Manhunter, which the Manhunter robot is my favorite out of the three. I'll save you some time. But it's listed as Manhunters <laughs> for whatever reason. That is one cool swap out faceplate. The side of the box says Green Lantern Adversary. And I thought, okay, this is based off a title comic of Adversary. No, it just means he's an adversary of the Green Lantern Corps. <laughs> Yeah, go figure. But regardless, this is going to be an absolute blast. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at three brand new Platinum Edition DC Multiverse figures. The Reverse Flash, the Manhunter Robot, and the Sportsmaster from McFarland Toys. And while I got all you athletic enthusiasts here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. And if you haven't already please do consider subscribing. Why? Well, we got old toys, we got new toys, we have daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you'll like. So, here is now everything out of the packaging, and I'm so happy to say that at these, we'll say, the original price point, even though they're around 23 bucks each now, they all come with at least some accessories. Some are better than others, but we'll kick it off with the reverse flash, of which, yes, we have seen these flash effects probably seven, eight times now, maybe more, maybe 10. We'll go with 10. You get the idea. They all clip into the various portholes that are all over his body. So yes, we have seen this figure before because it is just a repaint. And when I saw it in the store, I thought, uh, this could go either way for me. Yes, it is a new character, so I'm happy to have it in that sense. He does need a flight stand, of which he does not come with, because that's how you can really get him a running. The powers, the effects, sure, it works. Is it boring? Is it humdrum? Oh, most definitely. It has run itself into the ground, pun intended. But it is an interesting looking character, and that is really all I got, and it is a new character. It's Iris West's brother, Daniel West. So yes, in terms of a new character, look no further. In terms of the actual figure though, what's really funny, when he's packaged, he looks like that. And the face portrait, I was like, okay, that's all you could really see of the character. And then when I got him out of the package and I saw it firsthand, and then you kind of swap it in front on, it's a really derpy face. <laughs> it kind of sort of matches what you see in the comic books when it comes to this reverse flash, even though sometimes he has red 
little ear wings. Sometimes he has yellow. It's just a repaint. That's all I got. But the painted nature of it is cool. It looks good, at least on the front. There is nothing on the back in terms of those effects. Yes, they did paint the belts all the way around. He's got peg holes on the bottom. You have seen this body type, this very figure a million times. Is it cool? Do I like it? Again, only in terms of it being a different character, that's really it. Is the costume cool? Yeah. If the face portrait had been just a little bit better or maybe just a little bit more spot on to what I'm looking at there in terms of the comic book, I, I, this is not a character I was asking for in any way, shape, or form, so I'm really not going to be too hard up on it. But in terms of making things look like what they should look like, DC Multiverse, McFarlane Toys, you really go either way sometimes. So, no, this is not a pass. This is like a, well, you did your best, but it's just okay. <laughs> now, next up, we at least have a better iteration of a figure in the form of Sportsmaster. He comes with a hockey stick or a Happy Gilmore club, but... It's just a Playmates Toys Ninja Turtle weapon because it has no paint. The wrappings on it would have been great to paint. Instead, like I said, it's just all one beige, boring color. He does hold it, so that's good. <laughs> but then there's always one step forward, eight steps back with McFarlane because he doesn't have another hand to hold it. It's fisted and a holding. So one hand, one weapon, that's kind of a bummer. At least try and Casey Jones him a little bit. The bat fare is a little bit better. At least it's two-tone. You got black and that tan that you just saw on the hockey stick. So yeah, that, that's at least better. That's really all I got. Does he hold it well? This can be kind of loose in his hands. Just FYI, also the hand that holds things is a trigger finger, which you could put some weapons in there because I think Sportsmaster gets kind of desperate sometimes because all he does use are sports-related weapons. A baseball would have been cool, like a baseball bomb. Yes, you are correct in assuming this is a reused body of the Dark Knight Detective. Does it work in terms of the Sportsmaster? Yes, it, it does because I really have no preconceived notion of Sportsmaster outside of, let's say, Young Justice, at least in terms of this costume. At first, I thought it was a combination of Wild Dog. That's not true. But Mad Dog, who looks very much like this Sportsmaster. So truth be told, if you give him some guns, you got Mad Dog. If you keep the sports weapons, you have Sportsmaster. It's that similar. Yeah, there are eyes underneath that mask. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah, they're painted nicely. That looks cool. And I really like the mask on this guy. At least they gave him a new head portrait. Like I said, the paint for what is there, the look, some of the dry brush on it, it does work. I do like this figure. And again, like I said, much like Reverse Flash, can't say I'm asking for Sportsmaster, but there is enough in terms of the reuse to say, okay, this actually does work for reusing parts and pieces. An open extra hand, that would have been more ideal. Maybe a few more sports-related weapons, that would have been even better. Now, in terms of Mad Dog, we know that we can't give him guns, but at least in terms of the articulation, like I said, the paint, the overall look, it does match with my mind's eye in terms of what I think about with Sportsmaster. So unlike Reverse Flash, Yes, you did some homework. Yes, it looks okay. Is it a thumbs up? You're getting a thumbs uh, medium on this one. And then we have the third and final figure, which personally, I'm going to say is the best, even though, yeah, I would say he's a little on the small side. Should be a little bit bigger. It's a Manhunter robot, but I'm happy to say he does come with some jet thrusters, of which these are reused from Batman Beyond, yeah. But hey, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Give him a flight stand because it doesn't come with one. And at least you can get this Manhunter robot airborne. So yes, I do like it for that. I like that it has the jet thruster boots. That totally works. That's some good reuse. Fine, that totally makes sense. But yeah, flight stand would have gone an extra mile, McFarlane Toys. I'm just saying this by far is my favorite thing in the entire video. It is a faceplate with battle damage for the Manhunter robot. I love when things look like this. I wonder where my love of things looking like this came from, stemmed from. <laughs>
That just always appeals to me. Some kind of rotted out phase, blown out phase, parts, pieces, zombies, or otherwise. It's got some great shading, great paints, the teeth. It's just a clip-on piece and searched right into the head. That is cool. Well done. Now, in terms of the Manhunter robots, yeah, I really like this. You know what is the worst part about this entire figure is that it's a platinum chase figure, whereas, yeah, people would like to army build this. The faceplate comes right out. That's cool. You can clearly see it just clips in there. And when you have it in there and you want to swap it out, it stays in place oh so poifically. So, yes, battle damaged or otherwise, battle damage is more fun, let's be honest, the paint, all the reflective silvery blue purple paint on him, which kind of makes him look like onslaught when you don't see the top half. But yes, that's fine. But a little dry brush action would have gone a long way. And I don't think McFarlane's always is really going to be planning to do that anymore. It just seems like we'll just detail out the face like Marvel Legends were doing for quite some time. But yeah, now it's McFarlane Toys doing it. It's really detailed out, but the rest of the body doesn't seemingly match. Now, he is a combination of the prior released Batwing figure with some new parts and pieces, fisted hands. Some swap out hands would have been cool. I'm glad he does have fisted hands, though. Let's be honest. And the articulation is pretty stellar. So overall, top to bottom, paint, I mean, that could use a little improvement. Accessories, sure, could use a little improvement, but... From what we've been getting from McFarlane Toys recently, yeah, I'd say this is a home run if I've seen one in a while, and I think it's been a while. Let's be honest right there. You can kick out. You got double jointed knees. You got the feet, flat feet, toe articulation, the whole nine yards. Especially love the ab crunch and, again, peg holes on the bottom where you can insert the accessories. And I really love the treads on the bottom. They do really sculpt these things out. So for that alone, for being at the... Well, standard price point at this point and not a collector's edition. Yeah, it's a really cool Manhunter robot. But to really drive home the fact that this is a platinum chase, rare, yada yada. Why can't we army build these? This would have been the perfect army builder. <laughs> I want two of these just to display with the battle damaged head. Ah, it's so frustrating, McFarley Toys. This ain't fun. This is not fun. But what I tell you is fun is that yes, when you get them paired up with other DC Multiverse figures, you see the height there of the Anti-Monitor, mm, could have reflected there in the Manhunter, just saying that it's again the height discrepancy we've been talking about with McFarlane Toys, where it's just so blue in the face with it. No, it's not a repaint of the Lex Luthor body, as you can clearly see. So for that alone, cool. That is a nice new Manhunter robot when you want to pair him up with other Green Lanterns in your collection. At least he's taller than Kyle and Hal. <laughs> I would say at the very least, at least he's taller than the Green Lanterns. And then when it comes to the Sportsmaster, I would say he's a little bit bigger of a character, right? A little bit more, well, he's got some muscle on him, but he seems to fit in rather well with other various rogues. When it does come to Batman or the Green Lantern, of which Sportsmaster, the original look for the Sportsmaster, was a foe of the original Alan Scott Green Lantern. You get the idea. You can put these two together. It's a newer look. Primarily, I would say, goes more with Batman, Suicide Squad, that kind of thing. But remember, Sportsmaster slash Mad Dog for this one. And then when it comes to the Reverse Flash. Now, again... While it's certainly not my favorite, while it's the repaint of repaints with all the added accessories that are reused, he does look cool as a Flash villain. So, in that sense, new character, Flash villain, goes with the other villains, can go up against Flash, Superman, sure, it totally works. So, that will wrap it up for my look at three brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Platinum Edition figures. The Reverse Flash, the Sportsmaster slash Mad Dog, and then, of course, we have the Manhunter Robots. I've said what I said. I means what I says. You're making weird choices, McFarlane Toys. And, yes, I did manage to walk into a GameStop, and, yes, they had them. Sure, that was fun. That was a good old pat on the back. But making these platinum... I would say the Manhunter, that's not a platinum. The other one's fine. I'll give it to you. Platinum all the way. But it's going to be a pain, and you know how this is going to go. Why are you tormenting the collectors here? At least give them a chance to order them online. Something! Ah, you guys got to figure out your business. But you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. 
And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, yes, I am still looking for that red electric Superman. I can find these dang platinum editions, no problem, but the red electric Superman just keeps eluding me. And when it does, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.